you don't judge me too much. If you cry in that movie, I don't know. <laughs> I, um... Well, they apparently have, like, a really touching Paul Walker tribute at the end of the movie. Sure, considering he actually does pass away, so... I don't know if he dies in the movie. I think, I'm sure he does, like, towards the beginning, because, like... No, he had almost all of his scenes done. Oh, did he? And then they oh. actually had his twin brother. Oh. Yeah, that seems like a Fast and the Furious kind of fucking twist. Yeah. Is that so Paul Walker's twin brother shows up. <laughs> yeah, so, so they just... That's the kind of plot they, twist you would have in a Fast and the are Furious. They gonna, are they going to landfill it? They just, like... They just, <laughs> <laughs> they just landfill Can you just call me landfill? Can you just call me landfill? I feel like I've known you guys my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Real natural uh, rapport going what, what is What is the chronology of that movie? And like, Because I've never seen a single okay. one of them. So... And I, you've told I'm, me that, I'm about to blow your fucking mind okay, here. Okay, yeah. You've told me some things. Like, I know that, like, 3 is, like, the last one in the series until this one. Until this one. Right. Okay. okay, so here's the chronology. Okay. And I'll give you kind of a basic idea of the way that the Fast and Furious works. Yeah. The first one. I got a better idea. It's time for the Man of Struck podcast! Aww, yeah. I was going to explain Fast and Furious. And you know what? You can. Yay! Yeah. In like ten minutes, we're gonna go into the podcast and talk about what game we played. But fuck it, I want to hear this. So, what is the chronology of Fast and the Furious? <laughs> okay, uh, well, just for all the listeners out there, I- I'm trying to talk Brandon into going to see Furious Seven tomorrow, <laughs> and he's never seen a Fast and the Furious movie. Not a single one. I've uh, seen. And I'm shocked. Of- the movie. I I didn't go on opening day. I go every time on opening day, but I've been waiting patiently. Right. Yeah. I just I didn't want to be there with a bunch of mouth breathers. Right. Yeah. I've gotten to an age where. I'm a big, loud motherfucker, but I am silent in a movie theater, yeah. and you fucking better should be, too. Agreed, yeah. It's like, th- there's a whole reason that we do that as a society. The only time yeah. I ever am willing to say anything to anyone in a movie theater yeah. is after a trailer. Right. Because the, the movie hasn't fucking... The thing you paid for hasn't started, hasn't started yet. I may go like, well, oh, that seems okay. That seems all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm the, you know, the fucking... The, the movie critic. Right, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it looks like, like a piece of garbage. That looks like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I fucking see a trailer for a superhero movie, I just audibly sigh. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> While I'm like, dude, that's the dude from something issue 45. It's fucking Ant-Man. Let's do this. <laughs> and the other time I will ever say anything in a movie theater is when I go to watch like a live riff tracks right because I'll, some of the things they say are so fucking outlandish right. you just have to lean over to the person next to you and go like you just fucking say that <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that's almost going to see like a live riff tracks is like going to see Rocky Horror or exactly. something yeah you're- everybody's already seen this movie you're just there for the things around the film exactly yeah you know what's happening here we gonna go watch The Room hell yeah we're gonna go watch The Room I fucking we love need- oh, The Room god it's so bad I love it <laughs> hi doggy hi doggy <laughs> That, that scene is so weird. Anyway, we can talk about the room later. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> fucking... We do this whole podcast on dumb movies. The <laughs> Video to Strip Movie Podcast. Movie cast. Um, yeah, there yeah. will be like three episodes a year when I see a new film. Right, yeah. Because <laughs> I only go to the theater like twice a year. It's true, yeah. yeah. Um, and, but, all right. Yeah. Chronology. Fast and Furious. Right. I'm going to give you basically a chronology of what happened in the films and where they lie in the series. Okay. There's really only one film that sticks out. Okay. Okay? Um, the the first movie, Paul Walker's a cop. Right. Vin Diesel and all the other cast of hooligans um, are street racers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paul Walker's character is there to basically break up this and uh, there's all these street racers that are uh, knocking over trucks. Right. So it's not the street racing that's got them, it's that they're it's all the theft. The theft, yeah. So Vin Diesel's the bad guy, but you know, good, a bad guy with a heart of gold, that kind of thing. Right. End of the movie happens, uh, Paul Walker, uh, Vin Diesel's car wrecks uh, in this epic you know race at the end of this, uh, gets hit by a fucking train. And uh, destroy this really beautiful 70 Charger, which is a fucking shame. That is a shame. 
<laughs> but yeah, and the car comes back like 50 times. It's like Frankenstein. I have no idea what they're doing here. They didn't just get a new car. <laughs> For some reason, well, it was like his dad's car. Okay, that was his thing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, All right. So he just keeps fixing, fixing this fucking thing. And at this point, he keeps like removing pieces of it. Like right. it's just bare metal at this point with a <laughs> fucking blower sticking out of them. It's awesome. Um, what I'm saying is that it's awesome. Right. Um, so uh, Paul Walker throws the keys to Vin Diesel, and Vin Diesel drives away. Uh, right. Ends up going to Mexico, right? Uh, leaving his girlfriend behind. Okay, um, just goes by himself, right? Yeah. Kind of like the movie Heat. You got to be ready to rock and roll to drop the hat, right? You know, when you see the heat around the corner, that kind of thing. Sure, sure. And he and Paul Walker falls in love with Vin Diesel's sister. He does. That's okay. He does. Right. Uh, that storyline thread doesn't pick back up. Okay. Until the fourth film, Fast and Furious. Okay. All right. Um, the reboot, I guess. Yes, because yeah. everybody finds out he's a cop, and you know he right. actually goes on the run. Okay. Um, and there is, <laughs> believe it or not, there is a prequel uh, to Too Fast, Too Furious. It's like a ten-minute video segment really <laughs> that shows how Paul Walker gets to Miami from Los Angeles okay um, he basically starts driving across the country and starts street racing uh, to make money that's how he ends up with the skyline which uh, skyline GTR which is a car he has in the film okay um, which it, it's hilarious he finds this fucking skyline one of the like most expensive and rare car because at that time they were illegal to have in the United States at all oh wow um, I believe the r34 skyline that he drives in the movie you still can't even fucking own here <laughs> I think they have to be 20 years old before they can legally be imported here. Wow. Uh, they're, just, they're against the law. Um, but once they're 20 years old, it's like a collector's item. It's like how you can have like old like fucking military rifles and shit that are fully automatic. Right. Because that is a it's relic. Relic, yeah. It's, a, um, it's an antique. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. I digress. So you watch this prelude to uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious, uh, very beginning of the movie, there's this... The, the movie is... Filled with the worst CG you've ever seen. Whole race scenes in this movie yeah. are fucking CG. Right. And it ends up looking like a shitty Speed Racer. <laughs> Did you see Speed Racer? I have seen Speed Racer. It's kind of awesome. It's, it's, see, that's so weird you say that because I kind of like was like, it's kind of awesome too. It's kind of awesome. Like, it's awful, but like there's something about it's it. It's like visual like, vomit, but yeah, like the good right? kind. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's um, very bizarre, that movie. Yeah, um, so uh, all, all the fucking race scenes in that movie, like uh, it's a mixture of like really good stuff and just terrible shit. Right. Um, but yeah, like that movie is just, the opening scene is just super high on itself. Right. Uh, that movie was uh, directed by John Singleton. John Singleton. Uh, right. uh, who did uh, Did he do Boys in the Hood or Boys, Best of Society? Boys in the Hood, I believe. Boys in the Hood, okay. Yes, yes. All right, so he, directed by him, bad choice. Right. Every film after this guy, uh, after that film, is directed by Justin Lin. Okay. Who is very big in Hollywood right, right. now. Yeah, they, um, they were talking about him for the new Trek movie, too. I they are, and I believe they actually secured that. I think he's is legit he be, doing it. Okay. Um, and you know what? Given the life that he injected back into this stupid fucking franchise, <laughs> pumped, right? Pumped. <laughs> the only other more life they could give is like put the rock in it, and then it would have even more life. I think yeah. they will. They probably won't put rock. At in this it. point, you're gonna be like, oh, I got my friend Dwayne to show up. <laughs> Dwayne, he's uh, he's a Klingon. Because <laughs> let's be honest, I I feel the same way about like Star Trek Into Darkness as I felt like. Star Wars Episode Three. Right. I had a good time in the theater, and as soon as I left, I felt bamboozled. I was like, "Hey, that wasn't good at all." <laughs> Weird. I've never watched that movie again. I would be huh. curious what would happen if I watched it. Because in the in the theater, I'm like, I was with Eric, and we watched it. I was like, "It's fucking great, man!" Right. And then I left, and I was like, "That's souring on me rather quickly." Because <laughs> um, it was just a dumb action movie. It was that was super fucking predictable. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. Yeah. Like it stops. Saying that it wasn't con, and then just go like, yeah, it's con. Yeah, it's con. <laughs> but all right, uh, so I digress. All right, yeah. so the the second uh, second movie, uh, he ends up getting uh, arrested by the cops, rolled back into the fold, and sure. that's where Tyrese Gibson's character is introduced to the series. Okay, um, Tyrese Gibson, uh, his character, um, he's uh, he the introductory scene. He's at a a, a destruction derby. Right. Uh, he's got an anklet on. Right. Um, this is four. We're on four right now, right? It's two. It's two. We're, we're on two. two. Okay, it's on, on two. two. Sorry. Right, I jumped around a little bit. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, yeah. And I'm talking really fast because I know this is... 
I'm going to make this as short as possible, I swear to God. <laughs> um, so in the second film, uh, he's got an anklet on. Uh, he's, right. uh, he's been arrested for, uh, it, that apparently Paul Walker was involved in. Um, they, he ended up getting arrested and had to do some time, and, you know, Paul Walker didn't. Right. Because he was a cop. Sure. Uh, so that he's holding a big grudge against him, but uh, they're saying that they're going to clear Paul Walker's name and Tyrese's name if they go down and they bust up this... A drug lord okay. operation that's happening. There's street racing involved, so we need people that know how to drive. Right. Uh, so Wham. they end up down there in Miami. Uh, they end up with two sweet ass cars. Uh, they get a Mitsubishi Eclipse and a uh, Mitsubishi Evo. Okay. Uh, this movie brought to you by Mitsubishi. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, they end up getting some some pretty sweet cars that they get out of street races. So they end up with uh, old muscle. The cool thing I like about these movies is that there's always like. You know the racer kind of cars, yeah. but there's always somebody that shows up with muscle, right? At some point, so they end up with like a uh, Yanko Camaro and a what's the other car, a Roadrunner or a Cuda. I believe it was a Cuda, okay. uh, but it's been a while since I watched Too Fast and Furious. Weakest movie in the whole fucking series, right? Okay, uh, they end up crashing a car into a boat. It's a fucking not, mess of a film. <laughs> not Tokyo Drift. This is the weakest. No, Tokyo Drift's the best. <laughs> really? Fuck you. It's, the, the, I'm the, no joke. Oh, I it just it, it's it's funny because that was the Stranger DVD one, correct? Like that's what no, was. that that was still in theaters. Okay, and that's Justin Ooh. Lin's first film. Okay, uh, Tokyo Drift. Is why they made Fast and Furious. Right. They yeah. took all the stars out, right. and they just it. Tokyo Drift is kind of on its own island. Right. And they made a movie starring a kid from the U.S. who gets shipped to Japan, so he doesn't have to go to juvenile, right. uh, you know, detention services. Sure. Um, sure. So he gets to sh- shipped over to his uh, to his dad, who's in the military, uh, and that's kind of their whole core conceit there. So right. it's cool. It's it's actually really fucking awesome. But we'll talk about it here in a little bit. Right. Um. So yeah, that, the only relevant stuff that comes out of the second movie is that you get Ludacris introduced, okay, who yeah. remains in the series, right? You get Tyrese, and that's it. Don't bother watching the movie. Don't bother watching. It's it. kind of a fucking. Yeah, you know, it's actually almost so bad and disingenuous <laughs> that I, I, maybe you should watch it. May, maybe watch it. Maybe yeah. Go like <laughs> if you end up enjoying Furious Seven, okay, maybe watch that too. Maybe watch that one. All right, uh, okay. Tokyo Drift. As I said, we'll come back to it. Okay. Fast and Furious. Uh, it was what are they? They called it like uh, you know uh, new model original parts. Sure, it was all the old people coming back. Yeah, I remember. The, I remember the trailer for this when people blew up in that trailer yeah. because they're 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 heisting this tanker. And this was something. early YouTube, and that video yeah. was everywhere. Everywhere the they're they're heisting this tanker, and it shows Vin Diesel, it shows everybody yeah. there, and you're like, ah, oh, everybody's back. And it's, uh, yeah. This was the one that had drug tunnels. The next one right. is the one that has like the fucking tank, uh, the where they're uh, where they steal a safe and shit. That's fast right. five. That's fast five. Um, yeah. But Fast and Furious this is the one that involves Mexican drug tunnels. Right. Very fucking cool. Uh, the love interest comes back. Okay. Uh, Paul Walker's there. Michelle Rodriguez is dead. Right. Killed her off. Killed her off. She was off, off screen, correct? Because. They show this in flashback okay. form. Okay. Vin Diesel goes to the scene of where this happens. It's the that's the thing that gets Vin Diesel back in the country. Right. Right. Um, so Paul Walker's trying to get to the you know to he's working with the cops again. He is a police officer again. Right. Um, he is working with the police to try to uh, you know basically catch this drug lord. Right. Um, and there's all this. I think it's heroin. Something. Something. Uh, yeah. Coming in the United States uh, legally, and all the money's getting funneled out and. Uh, so, th- feels a lot like Bad Boys Two is what I would say. Okay, and yeah. when you say something's like Bad Boys Two, you know I'm into it. Oh yeah. No okay, so Vin Diesel comes back in the country, uh, and you know they they go to arrest him, and Paul Walker's trying to get him a deal, and they end up busting the drug lord. Uh, you know, so everybody's back together. End of the movie. Vin Diesel still gets arrested. Right. And they go to sentence him. Sure. And end of the movie, he is in shackles in a bus uh, that's going to uh, Longbach or whatever fucking maximum security prison. Sure, sure. Yeah. To. Alcatraz uh, reopened for him. Yeah, whatever, yeah. <laughs> the Rock. I don't know. Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> um, at the end of the movie, you see him uh, going off there and then all the... Uh, Paul Walker and everybody, their cars roll up alongside him. Right. Yeah. Um, so at this point, here is the cast of miscreants that are relevant in the series. Okay. You've got J.J. Sonny Chiba. Okay. Great. He plays a character named Han. He's fucking awesome. Right. Tyrese, 
Ludacris, Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel's sister, uh, Mia. Mia. Um, Jordana Brewster, I believe Jordana, is the girl. Yeah, Jordana Brewster. Um, Michelle Rodriguez is dead. She's dead, so she's out. And Paul Walker. And that's it. That, right. that, that's all the relevant people so far. Right. Okay, so beginning of Fast Five. Fast Five. They end up wrecking the fucking bus <laughs> and breaking Vin Diesel out and escaping across the border because in the fourth movie, they know where the drug tunnels are, so boom, they, right. they go out a way to get out. Find the drug tunnels, yeah. So they leave the country. Fast Five starts, they're in Brazil, uh, they're running out of money, uh, they end up getting an opportunity from someone else who was originally in the operation with them in the first film. He doesn't really matter. <laughs> hmm. Nice sneeze. Cut that out. Um, <laughs> no, I was, I was just leaving it. I was at a sneeze button. <laughs> <laughs> you get a cough button, so yeah. I can just go, fuck you. Uh, just every time I do yeah. that. Um, but yeah, so they, they end up in Brazil. Uh, long story short, they get the whole band together to knock over this fucking gangster. Right. Um, so, and that's where the fucking awesome scene happens, where they've got the, the fucking bank vault behind the two Dodge Chargers, and it's ripping the city up. <laughs> the Rock is also introduced in this fucking film. That's right. As the uh, yep. And Vince from the first movie, the guy who ends up getting him the job, uh, he dies in this movie. Uh, they also introduced this one girl who I think was like some kind of MMA fighter or something. Right. Uh, kind of hot. Yeah. Sort of a lo- uh, love interest for Vin Diesel, but, you right. know, he... Yeah, his was, she, was that the Gal Gadot one? Was that, or is she coming six? Maybe. I think Gal, I'm not sure. Wait, no, you talk about the chick that's going to be Wonder Woman? Yeah. Is that uh, she's in five. She's in five, okay. She's yeah. in, but that's not this girl. But that's not this girl. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, she's a cop, isn't she? The Rock is there, it's bad. Yeah, 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 yeah Gal Gadot's a cop. Yeah, that's right. Uh, no, Gal Gadot is part of the, of the gang. Oh, she's part of the gang. Oh, the, okay. the girl okay. I'm talking about that's like the, the, the Vin Diesel love interest she's right. she's a police officer gotcha uh, The Rock comes in town it's a big meathead fest they have some really good fucking fights yeah um, okay. it's arguably one of the best movies in the fucking series it's great it's that- it doesn't suffer from the problems that Six suffers from right. Six is great but it feels bloated right there's a lot of shit going down well and it just it feels like oh, we're just gonna bring in more people and, <laughs> I, I, and there's how many more rappers, ex wrestlers can we oh, toss like in here? Fucking tank in it this yeah, time. The tank. Like, they got a tank. The fucking tank fight in six is great, but five is incredible. Uh, yeah, watch five. Okay, so that's one definitely to watch. Then. Five is fucking great. Five. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you if I was going to show one of those movies to somebody, right? If I wanted to be super ironic, it would probably be the first one because that movie really doesn't hold up, right? It is a little bit like disingenuous. Like all the dialogue that's supposed to be hip and cool, yeah, is just really dated. Woof. <laughs> ja Rule in that movie is fucking terrible. <laughs> Holy shit! In what movie is Ja Rule good? <laughs> Let's be honest. Here. He has some of the most quotable lines in the whole damn movie. <laughs> all right. So back on track Fast Five Fucking incredible Right um, So coming out of this movie Yeah the, uh, the Rock lets them go Okay They get the money They trick The Rock The Rock thinks Well I've got the safe Right Get out of here Right You know uh, You've got 24 hours to leave town That kind of thing Right right, right. And The Rock goes and opens the safe And it's fucking empty And there's no money in the safe. And it It really doesn't matter to him that much Because the Rock ended up siding with them because he wanted to take down the the bad guy. The bad guy, yeah, uh, yeah you yeah. know, the crooked politician. Sure, sure. Because um, so. he's the real bad guy in this. Obviously. So yeah. his money doesn't fucking matter to anybody. Uh, so they end up getting all this money. Everybody's fucking fat paid. Right. And Fast Six movie opens. Uh, the Rock shows up at uh, Vin Diesel's house, and Remember? he's living in a non extradition country. Right. Um, and he says, You know, you can't take me back. And he's like, I don't want to. I want to show you this video, correct? Because yeah. yeah. there's a video, that's the only thing I know from, from the trailer, so it's not a spoiler for anybody. Shows a video, it's Michelle Rodriguez. Alive. Who is alive and committing crimes. Uh, with the man that has the tank. Yeah, with the guy with the tank. Yeah. So Vin Diesel's like, What the fuck? Thought she was dead. Didn't know that, but. You know, six has some great fucking moments in it. Right. The best parts about six are that it's the movie. You're like, holy shit, is this movie twenty minutes long? Because <laughs> they go there, they're gonna go get, do this shit. They're gonna fucking fix it. You know, like 
every character that's going to be in the movie is on screen at the same time. I think that's fireworks from the oh, baseball no. game. Yeah. Sorry, everyone, there's fireworks There's going fireworks from the, from the baseball game. <laughs> um, but yeah, so everybody that's going to be in the movie is on screen at the same fucking time. The Rock's there. They've got all these BMW M3 cars. They're ripping through town chasing these guys. Like The bad guys have these uh, cars that almost look like Formula One cars, but rail buggies. Hmm. So they can flip other cars. So they drive oh. under them and it causes cars to flip. It's <laughs> fucking cool. Uh, they've also got these EMP shock devices that are very similar to uh, a device that was used in the second movie to catch Paul Walker right. uh, at the beginning of the film. Right. Um, so they got all these EMP things. And basically, the best part about it is that everybody's together. We're a fucking team. We're going to take these guys down. They get fucked up. Yeah. Everybody's car gets wrecked. <laughs> right. They're like beat to shit. Right. It's like Rocky it's like Rocky 3 round 1 with Mr. T. Fuck yes. <laughs> just... Like Burgess Meredith is dead. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. Right, uh, right, right, but yeah, right. the movie's great. There's a fucking tank in this movie. There's a tank. They pull a plane out of the sky with cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, it's, it's, you know what? You just watch Fast 6. Watch Fast 6 the as well. The fucked up part about Fast 6 yeah. is that Fast 6 ends. Yeah. And there is a stinger yeah. that is related because in... Uh, four, five, and six. Yeah. JJ Sunny Chiba is in that film as the character Han. Right. Who was in Tokyo Drift and fucking dies. Dies in Tokyo Drift. So, for a while there, a lot of people were uh, saying, like, well, are they just kind of retconning it and hoping people don't notice? Yeah. But the great part was in every film, he would, every, like, at the end of the movie, they'd get their money or escape or whatever, and they'd be like, hey, man, you going to Japan? He's like, I'll get there eventually. The end of Fast 6, he gets there, he and gets there. Tokyo Drift happens, right? And he, dies. And, and he dies. Right. Um, and Tokyo Drift, fucking great movie. Mm -hmm. Really, there's one thing they do in that movie that's like a real bummer. Yeah. Um, they take a, I believe it's like a 69 Mustang that oh. his dad has, yeah. and they don't have any money to fix it up. He's got to get this, he's got to do this race at the end of the movie to, you know, uh, it's weird. Right, um, yeah. And the only motor he has is out of this destroyed 240SX. Okay. So he puts an SR20 Japanese motor inside of a drivetrain. Inside of a Mustang. Into a 69 Mustang. Right. It's a little weird. That feels dirty. That's <laughs> a little... It's like you're putting in a Japanese... Uh, but what do engine. I know? I mean, nowadays people are putting like... 350 Chevy, you know, small blocks into fucking 240s and shit. So yeah. like, it's a weird world we live in. Right. But I remember at the time looking at that, going like, I feel odd about this. <laughs> um, great film, though. Right. Great series. Right. Now, what's interesting is that now, where did this come into play? Because did you not know who killed Sonny Chiba in the third one? In yeah, three? the stinger at the end yeah. of six. I guess I should say this. Yeah. Is the villain of Seven, which is Jason Statham. Well, correct? <laughs> Han was killed in Tokyo Drift. Right. But he gets killed in a traffic accident. Like, it's a wreck. Okay. Yeah. And these guys, the, the bad guys from Three are chasing him, and he ends up getting hit by, a t bone by a car, the tank explodes, and he dies. Right. We end up finding out... Through that stinger, they refilmed parts of this right. to show that Jason Statham purposefully put him in that in position. It. Gotcha. And very end of the film, he's walking past Han's car as it's burning. Right. And he's and Han's dead, and he goes, uh, "He's eliminated." Yeah. And right. he says something about going to see Toretto. And, right. Going to take, uh, him out. take out that whole family. So. Yeah, he's got he's got a beef with uh, the Toretto. I assume he's yeah. related to the bad guy from Six. Okay, because yeah. uh, he looks a lot like the bad guy from Six. Okay, um, you feel but, like they wanted to cast him in Six but couldn't get him for that one, maybe? <laughs> well, they actually when they did Five and Six, right? They 
wrote those as a pair. Okay, yeah, all right. So. And now seven and eight are written as a pair. They're doing eight? I thought this was going to be the last one. No, they're... They keep going, huh? They have an okay. option to do through 11. Wow, okay. Right. Uh, they probably won't. I'd say eight will probably be it. Ra- but I don't know, it's made so much... I was like, ride this money train, man. This you one's made $700 million already. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> You have a dumb car movie People. with a bunch of actors who are dirt fucking cheap, <laughs> and true. one of your most expensive actors is dead and won't be in it anymore. That's true. That's true. So I, I'm. Why wouldn't you make it? <laughs> and I love the fact that they have gone from the roots of being just a weird car film thing, right, to being twisted. Yeah. Into. Like I said earlier, it's like Bad Boys right. or The Rock, right? It, and it's fucking great. It's it's become this kind of like crime adventure series. More Justin so than, Lin yeah. is fucking yeah. He's like a Michael Bay that can still make movies. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Lin, uh, he's not an incompetent person. Uh, I will say that uh, he knows how to make an exciting action flick because. I'm, I haven't seen them, but they clearly do really well, and a lot of people love five, six, and they're and they're really looking forward to seven. Like this is like a new revitalized uh, kind of run for this. I have I have been on a media blackout for this movie. Right. I have told everyone, do not tell me a fucking thing. I know nothing about this movie. Right. I saw right. the trailer. That's it. Right. Okay. Oh, and I guess the last thing that I never said in six is that yeah, Michelle Rodriguez is alive. And well, yeah. What, what was she doing? What well, uh, when her car exploded, she ended up getting uh, blown out of the car, right? Uh, down a hill. That's how that works. But go on. And they they said that you know, like they they never recovered a body, right? Um, but I guess where she was working at the, with the FBI at the time, right? They just kind of went with it. So okay. nobody really asked questions about, like, where's her body? How'd she die? What exactly happened? Sure. Why was she there? Right. That kind of stuff. So it, they just kind of swept her death under the rug. Right. Um, and let the whole family, I guess, just assume that she was dead. And then, so, yeah, he ends up finding her, and she doesn't remember shit. Okay. Um, no. And there's no moment where she does. Okay. But she just knows that... But like clearly they know who I am. And oh, she knows like, that these people know who I am, and then she, you know, right. she, she has that, you know, raw nature to be predisposed to love Vin Diesel, and right, uh, yeah. they end up kind of restarting their relationship. The great thing about the ending of Six is that Six ends, yeah, like a it's almost an exact mirroring of a scene from the first film and you're like right. oh that's really nice <laughs> he forgot oh that's he, nice thing. he was the first one to grab food and he didn't say grace oh. <laughs> yeah it's it, it what a weird fucking series right right i feel like we should probably put this at the end of the podcast yeah why not like stay tuned for this stay, weird fucking stay thing stay tuned for that all right that's fine we'll, uh, we'll, we'll probably edit this down so yeah thanks for listening to that or yeah. whatever maybe we'll talk about it next week i don't know Who knows? I, I don't know yeah. uh Fast and Furious. What, what are the questions you have? Anything? Uh, nothing. I think that's... It. Oh, there was one thing. Why did they decide? Because usually, like, like branding, marketing, it's real specific. That The title of that series has been so fucked around with. So like some there was of, The Fast and the Furious. The, the Fast and the Furious. That's specific. So. Too Fast, Too Furious. Too Fast, Too Furious. The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious. Yes, and Furious took out the buzz. Fast Five. Fast Five. Fast Six. Fast Six and then Furious And now seven. Furious Seven. Why are they going to Furious Seven? Is it because there's seven pissed off characters now? Like, I don't, like... <laughs> this is me just holding my hands in the air. I don't fucking know. Right, you know what? Let's extend this for just a couple more minutes. I have okay, one sure. question that is really burning me. Okay, sure. Yeah. You ever seen the movie Torque? I have seen Torque. What a complete piece of shit. <laughs> that movie I saw because it was on one of the Encore channels one day uh, when I was... That is the worst it's movie. so bad. Like, the, the weird thing was, there was this cottage industry of films that happened after the first Fast and the Furious movie made a ton of fucking money. That's true, yeah. So there was like Biker Boys. Mm-hmm. The guy who made the original Fast and the Furious yeah. is the guy who made Biker, Biker Boys. Yeah. And, and I've never seen Biker Boys because 
I, it looked real fucking dumb. Yeah, I never saw that one either. You know? um, and then there was Torque. Torque. Oh boy, Torque. Do you remember the bike fighting scene? Yes, where I do. two people they... are riding motorcycles and like using them as weapons as to whip? like like tail whip each other with them. Yep. And there's just Mountain Dew and Pepsi ads everywhere. Everywhere. The whole time. Everyone's got a Mountain Dew and Pepsi ad somewhere. And yeah, they're they're like doing like little tail whips trying to hit each other. What's with her them name? Them. That was on My Name Is Earl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ja- uh, Jamie Lee Presley. Jamie Presley. Jamie Presley. Yeah. She is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Southern Fried in that fucking film. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was at the height of her popular. I like her. I do, too. Because I... she's gotten self-aware. She is. She is not self-aware in this movie. Not at all. At all. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Like I barely remember her being in it, because I basically, my memory of her is from Miami, Missouri, and up. And so, like... You never saw... Uh, D- DOA, of You course. never saw Not Another Teen Movie? Oh yeah, I did see that. It was fucking I, incredible. I forgot she was in that too, though, until I Jeez. saw it recently. So that I like that movie a lot. That fucking movie's great. I, I love that movie a lot. I love it a lot. <laughs> I love the best part about Not Another Teen Movie. Yeah, we have gone way fucking off track. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the best part about Not Another Teen Movie are the voices that you wouldn't be able to hear right. if you weren't really listening. Right. Like, there's a scene where the girl jumps in the pool, and she gets out, Jamie Presley pours a bottle of water on her, <laughs> and you can hear someone in the background go, that's gonna stain! <laughs> it's that dialogue. <laughs> like, the actual upfront right. comedy is good. Oh, it's, yeah. it's as good as, you know, it's a Mel, not quite Mel Brooks level, right, right. but it's good parody kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All the background dialogue oh, is yeah. just... Fabulous. Just the stuff you hear in the background. Of that <laughs> and I love the, the fucking quarterback, uh, Mr. Uh, I, Mr. Can't Find a Date to the Prom. Can't Find a Date to the Prom. prom. <laughs> I, I love that he's never able to turn a phrase yeah. ever in ever. the entire movie. It's nope. great. Yep. Not another teen movie. Yeah, go watch that Probably one should watch that. Go I don't know. Do too. Why not? <laughs> oh man, it's got it, it's got a lot. Watch Fast Five there. first, then maybe not another team. Then not another Then dump, jump right back into Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah. Hop, hop on for Fast Seven. But that's gonna do <laughs> go it. Watch I, Torque. <laughs> Torque. I think that'll do it for our little special edition. We'll just make this a special edition. Special. Okay, yeah, we'll yeah. release two episodes. We'll, or we'll, something. Yeah, we'll, we'll make this little special movie edition where because you wanted to talk about. <laughs> The Fast series for quite some time. How fucking long is this? Uh, this is about a half hour. We're Holy this shit! Topic. Yeah, we were talking about half hours. We'll we'll make this a special movie edition of the Video Destruct podcast. <laughs> Nobody is uh, ever going to listen to this podcast. No, nobody is so. ever going to listen to this. Somebody podcast. Somebody likes Fast. The Fast series might. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll just me out. giving a really bad <laughs> summation of everything that happens <laughs> in a seven film series. <laughs>